Hi, I'm Martha Swirls and I'm a chef. Today I'm going to show you how to make a mushroom omelette. Now, there's loads of different mushrooms available in the supermarkets these days, so try a few different ones. I've got three different kinds of mushroom here today. I've got the closed cut mushroom, which is the most common. And then I've also got some shiitake mushrooms uh, and finally some chestnut mushrooms. Um, I've got a little bit of goat's cheese here as well just to finish it off at the end and uh, I've also got half a clove of garlic. Now I only want a little bit because I don't want to overpower it. Uh, and finally I've also got a little bit of fresh thyme which goes really well with the mushrooms and the goat's cheese. I've also got salt and pepper for seasoning and a little bit of oil and butter for cooking. I'm going to be using three eggs for this omelette. It'll probably be enough to serve two people uh, a medium sized portion or if you're really hungry, one person. Okay, so first of all I'm going to put in the oil and then the butter into a hot pan. I'm putting in the oil to stop the butter from burning. So I'm just going to pop in the garlic and give that a stir through the butter and now I'm going to put in the mushrooms. I know this looks like a lot of mushrooms but they are going to cook down and uh, what you're looking for when the, once they're reduced is to have a layer across the whole bottom of the pan. It's important to have your pan really hot when you put your mushrooms in. This stops them from just sort of sweating away and re releasing loads of liquid into the pan. If you have a nice hot pan, uh, you shouldn't get all of that mushroom juice. So just cook off your mushrooms for five or six minutes. Just keep moving them around, get them all coated in the oil and the butter, and just keep them moving. Okay, so whilst my mushrooms are cooking off, I'm just going to chop up the thyme. It's quite a woody herb, and um, I don't want the texture of it through the omelette, but I do want the flavour. So I'm just going to Chop up really finely. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the thyme, some salt and some pepper. So now I'm going to mix that all together. And now the mushrooms are nearly done, I'm just going to get the eggs ready. So I'm doing three eggs here. I'm just going to break them into a bowl and whisk them up before adding them into the pan. Um, if you do want to make a larger omelette, you could always do six eggs with this amount of mushrooms uh, and the mushrooms can just go a bit further. It's a way of padding out the dish. So I'm now going to pour on the egg a little bit of thyme across the pan so that the whole pan is full of egg and we just don't end up with it on one side. I'm just going to pop the goat's cheese on top at this point so that it gets a, a chance to kind of warm up in the pan as the egg's cooking. I'm only going to put it on half of it because I'm actually going to fold the omelette in half. If you are going to make a, an omelette with six eggs, definitely you're going to need to put it under the grill to finish off the top. Okay, so I'm now going to fold the omelette in half. Obviously, you can leave it open if you like. There's a tiny bit of egg on top that isn't quite cooked, but when we fold it in half, it's going to trap the heat inside and cook the rest of that egg. So it's now ready to serve. So we're just going to garnish our mushroom omelette with a salad, but you can have it however you like. And that's how to make a mushroom omelette.